Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Financial Risk Manager, FRM. Part one of the FRM exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management, and the theories that underlie their use. Applying CAPM to performance measurement. Welcome to the eighth lecture in the preparation of FRM Part One exam. Until now, we have learned the various pricing models to arrive at the security prices at market equilibrium, such as the capital asset pricing model and the arbitrage pricing theory. Portfolio managers use these theories to make investment decisions. It is important to measure the performance of the manager and her portfolio to check their comparative performances with the peers in the industry. Agenda. We have several performance measures for evaluating a portfolio performance. We will begin from measures such as the Sharpe ratio and the Traynor ratio, that normalize the portfolio risk premium. We will then learn about the excess return measure or alpha, and how the managers control the variability of this measure through another measure called tracking error. We will also study about some risk-based performance measures. Like the Morningstar and VAR-based measures. Traynor measures. The first performance measure, called the Traynor measure, is used to normalize the risk premium or the expected return over the risk-free rate. This is done by dividing the premium with the beta of the portfolio. This implies that we now have the premium that is independent of the portfolio risk. This means that we can compare two portfolios' performances, even though they have different betas. This is important because some portfolios may give higher excess return, but at the same time might have more risk and higher beta. Therefore, a Traynor measure gives a better representation of the performance.